Hey everybody, um, I was going to change my shirt to pretend like I didn't film this on the same day as yesterday's, yesterday's upload, but I feel like I should just let you in on the, the secret behind the magic is that I'm stocking up videos where um, I'm trying to make these several days out so that I don't have to be so stressed, like if I can't film one day, then uh, you know you can still get an upload on that particular day. Uh, it feels good having the sun in my eyes. Um, I got really frustrated by something that happened earlier today because I, uh, I was over by the movie rental place, Movie Madness. It is the, the best video rental store in the country and one of the only video rental stores in the country at this point. But it, um, it, uh, I, I needed to, I needed to return a, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of DVDs, and, um, I was over by where it was, and I was gonna do it on the way home, and I totally forgot to, so I drove all the way home, realized I needed to go back, because they are due today, so I brought them back, and, you know, I had kind of a bitter attitude about it on the way over, but I tried to keep a positive attitude of, you know, I get to make some progress listening to my audio book while I'm doing that. It's a book called Being Mortal. It's a fantastic book about aging and dying. Um, so a light, cheery read for the preschoolers right before they go to bed. Um, and when I got there, I checked out uh, Freakazoid, which is uh, this old, I guess it's a Steven Spielberg produced show. And um, it's an old WB show. Like it's a cartoon. And uh, I've just been curious about it for a while, so finally my curiosity, I, I gave into it and, and checked it out. Sorry, I'm really trying to keep the light on my face, but it's just very, very hard. My arm is getting sore very, very easily. Um, anyway, so I got Freakazoid, and then I got this movie called Delgo, which is a movie that came out when I was like 13, and uh, it set the record at the time for the absolute worst opening for a movie that was released in that many theaters, and I've always had my curiosities about it. It also was just critically panned. Uh, it seems like a lot of that was because the animation is so ugly, and it just like Google it, the animation does look pretty terrible, and uh, the, one of the main voices is Freddie Prinze Jr., whose whole career now, I don't know if you've followed this as closely as I have, his whole career is doing voice work now. He never actually physically acts in movies, and he's usually the voice in, like, really, really bad movies that have, like, crappy-looking CGI that also happen to cost a lot of money and then do not make their money back. But he's making a steady paycheck from that, so I guess the joke is on me for making fun of him. What, uh, that's the path that I need to follow. I need to be in some kind of subpar teen movies now, um, even though I'm 27. I mean, they always, they always cast people who are way older than high school to be in high school movies. Uh, so do that now, and then I'll just, I'll just provide voice work for terrible animated movies later on. Hi, dog, who barked at me yesterday and totally ruined the video I was filming. Um, anyway, I... Uh, uh, I had a nice little talk with the guy at Movie Madness about Delgo. I didn't think of all the... No, first of all, not all the Movie Madness employees are really big talkers, which is understandable. I mean, it's their job. I don't always... But, you know, when you when you can happen to strike up a conversation with one of them when they're in the mood for it, it's really nice because the, everybody who works there has, by virtue of their working there, seen a lot of movies, and they're playing movies all the time. He was like, Ah, oh, Delgo! Man, I've always been curious about this one. He was like, Let me know how it goes. <laughs> It's like, of all the movies that I was ever going to connect with a Movie Madness employee over, I really did not expect it to be Delgo. But that's just a testament to Movie Madness. They have everything, like nooks and crannies all in between. Um, you know, all the all the obscure, most obscure stuff that you can think of. They got it there, somehow. And uh, it's incredible. There are even some, there's a movie called Skippy that was, it was an Oscar-nominated movie from like the 30s that that um, you cannot find, I still cannot find in the dark recesses of the internet to stream, like not on the sketchiest tube site. I mean, of course, I don't go on those sites anyway, because they probably are hosting movies illegally, but, um, y you know. But anyway, I couldn't find it anywhere, but they have a copy of it somehow. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Uh, anyway, but that, um, li getting to listen to a substantial portion of my audiobook and getting that nice talk with the Movie Madness employee, uh, it really made the, the full round trip that I didn't want to make and shouldn't have had to make um, a lot more, you know, a lot more enjoyable. And if I had gone to Movie Madness just a little bit sooner, 
that employee might not have been there to talk to me about Delgo. Um, Delgo makes the world go round. Um, Freddie Prinze Jr. is our savior. That was supposed to be the, the cutoff joke, but um, 